Garrett, Aaron Boone was saying it felt like you had all four pitches in play today. What did you make of your performance? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Um, this team has a lot of good hitters, good bat-to-ball skills. Um, there was a few pitches where maybe we left strike out on the table or swing and miss because we didn't execute well enough. Um, you know, but uh, fortunately we were able to <clears throat> avoid damage. Um, and, uh, you know, able to grind out of a couple jams. So um, used all four pitches to our advantage. Um, wish I just uh, could locate just a little bit better in a couple of situations. How were you able to get out of that fifth inning jam? Um, just I, I just made good pitches. Uh, I felt I was one step behind Kepler and tried to throw him a slide step, you know, pretty much not, not really for a strike, see if I give him a chase. And... And then tried to try to get the leverage on Polanco to see if I could dictate the at bat. And then once I did that, um, I got back to Donaldson and uh, I executed some good pitches to him as well. So, thanks. Go next to Ken Davidoff. Hey Garrett, this is your first full season with the team, obviously, and, and with Aaron and 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 you guys hit more than your share of turbulence early on. Just wondering what you thought of Aaron's performance as the manager and his. Whether it has been a, you know, he has seemed as consistent uh, to you as he has to us externally. Yeah, I mean, I think his, um, I think his mentality day to day is certainly to be commended. Um, you know, he's been r remarkably consistent, and sometimes when uh, it's obviously been a bit challenging for all of us, so he's been a leader in that aspect. And um, you know, I think, uh, um, I think that. You know he's been able to keep us keep us uh, at that level where we we keep you know wanting to get better regardless of the results that we're having, and so um, I think he's doing a good job. Thank you, Eric Bolin. Please unmute. Gary, you've been in the game a little while now. What's just your general thoughts on you guys as a team? That less than a month ago you were nine and a half behind the Red Sox, and now you're ahead of the Red Sox and Oakland and only four games behind Tampa, making up that amount of ground in less than a month. Um, yeah, it's certainly been a good stretch. Um, and maybe well-timed, uh, you know, kind of catapulting us into the second half. So um, there was quite a bit of games, but I feel like, you know, even in our darkest moments, we felt we were better than what our record was and you know even having been really hot right now we, we've probably been fortunate in a handful of games they've been able to string together um string together this good play so uh there's there's still some work left to be done and then garrett uh, you talked about growing up as a yankee fan how would you describe what velasquez who grew up you know down the street basically as a yankee fan doing what he's done and how you guys in the clubhouse have reacted to it yeah, it's uh, it's 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 been really special. Uh, I feel really fortunate to be able to share those emotions with him and and you know watch him flourish here on 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 the biggest stage and and fulfill you know his dream. Um, you know, not to mention that it's you know propelled us to um, several wins to say the least. So um, I can't imagine what his family's going through right now. I'm I'm, I'm sure it's. Uh, really special time, and um, I'm thankful that we have him. I'm thankful that he's, you know, been playing really well for us. Um, and and uh, yeah, I mean, just it's really it's uh, it's really special in there. So you know, I, I hope everybody, I hope that kind of permeates through people outside of the clubhouse too. So thanks, Charles.